Hi, in this quick video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add an expander board to your IDS alarm system. This happens to be the IDS X64, and this is going to be the onboard expander. Now, if you have a look here, you'll see I've got zones one to eight here at the bottom. And what happens if I want to get zone nine to 16? Now, zone nine to 16 comes as an expander board like this. Now, this is called the plugin expander board and it goes directly onto the panel to expand your zones from 9 to 16, giving you another 8 zones. If you want to go beyond that, you need to have an expander board which is connected via your bus wiring over here. Now in this video, I'm just showing you the onboard expander. So the first thing I'm going to do is power down the alarm. So I'm first going to disconnect the battery over here. The battery is disconnected and now what I'm going to do is disconnect the AC power to the panel. The panel is completely powered down and all I need to do is align these connectors over there and you will see there's a post there where I'm going to screw in this expander Right, make sure you line up that correctly. You'll know it's correct when the post and the hole align together. Now, in the expander kit, you get some uh, resistors and then you also get the screw, which you're going to now need to screw in the onboard expander, the plug in expander. Right, so now I've just increased the zones from 8 to 16. I'm now going to connect my battery. And I'm now going to plug in my AC supply. Right, now I've plugged in my expander board and it is not coming up immediately onto my LCD keypad. In fact, it even says ready to arm and look at all these zones, they are open, which means it should say Zone 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 16 should be violated. Now, don't worry about this flashing LED here. That's just the siren trouble. You can see that it says siren trouble. And the reason being is just while I'm in my lab here, I've disconnected the siren because the siren has gone off about 20 times in the last hour and my hair's going gray because of that. So anyway, moving on. Now, you can see that it's not showing any of these zones as violated. And it should because, look, there's no resistor there's no zones connected here, there's no resistors connected here, so it should actually come up on the LCD screen as violated. Now, how you activate or actually enable the zone, you go to the installer menu. Now, nobody has changed the installer code, so I pressed 9 four times, followed by star, and then it asks me for the installer menu, the location. So I'm pressing 2. The reason why I'm pressing 2 is 2 takes me to the zones 9 to 16. If I pressed 1, then it would take me to the zones 1 to 8. And in the menu of 1 to 8, if I press star again, you can see that zone 1 is set as 1. And quickly looking at the zone properties or the zone types, you can see one happens to be entry exit zone. If it had a two there, it would be a follower zone. Three, panic. Four, instant. That's the most common. Four and one. But if you look over there, it says zero. That means disabled. So that means a zone is disabled. If I go to location two, I can now get to zones nine to 16. And when I press star, look at that. 1, so number is 9, that's the first sublocation of zones 9 to 16, so that is actually zone 9, look it says 0. So if I make it 4, making it an instant zone, I've now activated that zone, I've now made the zone type for zone 9, which is sitting there, I've now made it an instant zone. So moving on, if I now press star, it'll take me to number 2, which is actually number 10. And if I make that 4, you can see that it is now 4. But if I leave the rest as 0, you can see 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Then it won't come up as active zone. Right, so you've changed the zone properties. Just to refresh, it's 4 nines, star. You get into the installer mode, you're pressing 2, star. 
and make sure that each one of these, the zones that you want to use, say you want to use just 9 and 10, you can see I've made it a 4, which is an instant zone, and now 10 is an instant zone. Now, zone 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I'm not going to use at this stage. If you were going to use them, and then you would choose the zone type. Right, now the next thing you need to do is go to location 201. You need to tell the a panel that those zones are part of a partition. Now, at the moment, zone 1 is on partition 1. One. Now, as I move through the zones, you can see zone 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they're all in partition 1. Now, what we need to do now is just tell the unit that the new zones 9 to 16, well, in this case, I'm just going to put 9 and 10, are now going to be on partition 1. So that means that those zones are now part of this partition and there you can see immediately it says not ready. Why is it not ready? Be because zone 9 has now come online and zone 10 is also online now and it is saying it is violated. So if I go and install a resistor across zone 9, you'll see that zone 9 will no longer be violated. Right, so in this case I've now installed a resistor across the positive and negative of zone 9 and notice that the panel now only says zone 10 is violated. Even if I try and scroll through, it only says zone 10. What I've shown you here is that when you add the plugin expander, just do two things. Go and change the zone type. How you do that is you press four nines, followed by the star key, you go to location two, and there you can see the place for changing the zone type. So you can see that the number two is 10, number three is 11, number four is 12, number five is 13. And as I go through to number eight, eight would be 16. Right, once you've done that, you now go to 201, and then you just add those zones to the partition. If you wanna add it to partition two, well, you can also do that. Now, all of this can also be done using the IDS Swift software. It's actually much quicker if you use the IDS Swift software because you can program everything much quicker, especially if you're going to have lots of expander boards. And if you'd like to see how to do that, please check out my IDS playlist. All right, thanks for watching and cheers.